We're, uh, we're backstage here at, uh, at Red Rocks, and I'm here with uh, Tyler and Martin from, uh, from Lay Lights, who just got done playing a terrific set to kind of kick things off here on day two of the festival. Congratulations, guys. It sounded, uh, sounded really, really good. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Appreciate it. You know, for, for those, you know, that are watching this interview, not from the Denver area, give us the give us what the vibe was locally about the festival coming in. Um, it was hyped a lot. It was good. And I can't wait to see it develop. I mean, this being like the first year and all, I think it's fantastic so far. He was here last night, too, checking it out. So he can speak more about, like, saw some great bands, editors, one of my personal favorites, which is just fantastic on the same stage that we were. And uh, the setting around here is fantastic, as you can imagine. But at night, it's kind of magical, you know. You got lights and you got stars, and it's just fantastic. Just to be, you know, playing Red Rocks, it just has such a. Uh, such a feel to it in the first place and like coming here when I was a teenager and like seeing amazing bands and to just be here playing music, uh, pretty sweet. But they've got such amazing bands playing this festival too. I mean, because it just has such a history, like who wouldn't want to play here? Right? Um, except, except for the uh, the old rock and rollers that that you know <laughs> they're gonna have trouble playing anywhere just because they hate this, they hate that, or whatever. But uh, no, it's such a pleasure to play uh, in front of this crowd. Boy, I mean, between South by Southwest, you know, and now here and. Uh, and you, you got a surefire way to uh, really get to uh, hook the audience there at the end when you decided to give away, you know, the EP, which was very, very cool. More bands should probably do that stuff, you know. By, well, it's, by it's, the way. well, it's our EP. We, we're, we're trying to build up for our full length, which is, uh, it's not been a long time coming, but it's just like we've been itching and itching and itching to just get it out there. And, you know, how are we going to get people interested in, in getting that album, which we think is going to be... Mm -hmm. Amazing. Uh, we'll give away our, our first release, our EP, just so they can get like sort of a starter taste, a little appetizer uh, of what's to come. So how far are we along in, uh, in getting that full length out? Uh, we'll probably have some single stuff ready end of October. Uh, full length album November. Yeah, the uh, studio is all booked and we're doing sort of pre production stuff, meaning just rehearsing, rehearsing, rehearsing. And then, um, you know, a couple weeks in the studio and then sort of the rest of the process and then, you know, we're done. Yeah.